Hi everyone! So this is Andrea, and this is my second video. I'm so excited. And I would like to share with you some of Justin's babies. They're geckos. Um, they're Southwestern banded geckos, and they're really cool. They're a lot like leopard geckos. Um, this is one of our females, and she's really, really, really pretty. Nice light color, really pretty pattern. Um, and she has eggs for us, so she's getting ready to lay. Uh, their tails don't get quite as fat as leopard geckos, but their feet are kind of cool. Their feet are very similar to leopard geckos. Um, and they're a lot smaller. They don't quite get as, as big. They are a little bit easier to scare than a leopard gecko, but you can work with them. And they're kind of cool. They come from the, like, the Midwestern, western part of the United States. Southwestern, um, and they have lots of cool different patterns and colors. So that's our female, and then Justin also has a male. I think the male is pretty too. He, he's a little bit different. He has a little bit of a darker color to him, and he's a little bit feistier. Um, and like any gecko, he can drop his tail. Oh, I'm trying to get him out. And this is what he looks like. A little bit darker in color, di totally different pattern on the tail and on his back. Um, he's a little bit smaller than our female, too. He's kind of pretty. But he's a little bit more skittish. He's not quite as friendly as our female. We haven't worked with him as much. I'm just too afraid he's going to drop his tail. And if you look, he has... Um, Oh, maybe you can't see it, but he has these little tiny sp uh, spore vents down here, and he's a definite male. He's very cute. Um, and then Justin and I also have some um, some levises. Uh, I think we have a, a red phase pair, but I don't know if they're red phase or not. Because they're totally different than your typical levis. Well, at least one of them is, anyhow. So this is just our, what I think is our normal levis. And what these are is they're Australian knobtail geckos. And they have really big beady eyes. And why they're called knob tails? Because if you look at their tail, they have a little nub. And when they're trying to distract you, he'll start waving it around. Watch this. Oh, he doesn't want to do it. Well, he likes being handled. Um, let's put him down and see what he does. There it goes. See, he'll wag it. And it kind of goes up. Sorry, drop something. And they kind of just putt around and do their own little thing. Oh, there he goes. And when you spook them, that's what they do. And then they wag it around. But I don't want him to drop his tail, so I'm going to put him away. And then our, our other one, our female... She's really pretty. She's like a really deep red. She's not as dark as our male. So I think that she might be a red phase. You see the color difference? Compared to the other one, she's nice and light. And again, she has the little nubby tail and the big beady eyes. And she's a little bit friendlier than our male. Oh, she just jumped. But you got to be careful with them too because they can't really judge distance. So they'll walk right off of your hand if you let them. Um, which we try not to do. We try and hold, make sure we have them with both hands when we hold them or handle them. 
and they come with like different patterns too. Some of them have different spotting. Um, it's kind of like a fingerprint. They have all kinds of different um, spotting, so you can kind of identify your gecko, which is pretty nifty. And we do have one bearded dragon. So this is um, our dragon. She's a little, she's a little feisty. She doesn't like being handled. I'm not sure why. But she's really fat. She's pretty fat. She likes to eat. She'll eat all her greens that we put in there. And she's a citrus to citrus. And I got her from Mikey at Sunshine Dragons. And he said that he got them imported from Germany. So she's 100% hypo. And she's 100% het trans. So we're on the hunt for a really nice male to put to her when she's big enough for one to breed. I hope she turns out to be pretty yellow. But from the looks of it, she's going to get orange. She may get orange in her beard and stuff. So, in the future, we'll have some dragon clutches. Keep your eyes peeled for that. We also have horn toads. I know, I'm so excited. So, for everyone who has been really excited about our horn toads and wants an update, here's an update. Um... We have socialized them, and they're pretty social, actually. They really like to be pet. They're just as friendly as bearded dragons. Um, and for any of you who don't know my ant story, harvester ants are not my friend. I spilled them all over the place one time. It was a disaster. Um, and they are escape artists, so they're not like your your roaches or anything like that. They can climb up a slippery surface. They figure it out, and they do do it. Um, so whatever kind of contraption you're keeping them in, um, I would try and keep them in an ant farm, um, if you are doing harvester ants. Um, but when I got them, I tried the ants, didn't work out, so I tried crickets, and crickets seem to do really well. They love, love, love mealworms. They'll eat mealworms that they can't wait. They cannot wait for me to put mealworms into, um into their dishes. So what I've been doing was, see, they love to be held. Oh, come here, little bugger. So this is actually made female. What we tried was this stuff here, Rapashi Formical Plus, and it is experimental. It's an experimental product. It says this product should be considered experimental. The requirements for dietary formic acid are unknown. And this product is designed to be a tool for research only. Use this product at your own risk. Formicow Plus has a strong taste and may not be um, palatable to some species at full strength. If necessary, dilute with our calcium plus um, at decreasing ratios until accepted by the specimen or as your desire. Um, so, that's what we've been using, and I've come to the conclusion that they are doing very well for me on that. They've been on it for about, I want to say they've been on it for about two and a half months, almost three months. No ants, and they're eating nice and fat and healthy. They've shed a couple times for us, and, um, it doesn't matter what we put in there, they eat it. Um, I also have a book on horned toads that I picked up at a reptile expo um, that talks about in the wild. They eat ants. That's their main dietary um, bug that they eat. But they also eat other bugs, too. Uh, I know a lot of people are afraid of giving them crickets and, you know, excess and roaches and stuff because of the chitin levels. And for some reason, their horned toads don't do well. Um, but mine are doing just fine on this um, Rapashi Formical Plus. And 
we also dust it with the calcium plus too. So Justin puts it in this little container. So our mealworm container that we would get like from Petco. He puts it whatever we're gonna dust in here, and he labeled Formicel. He dusts it, shakes it up a bit, and then we have a dish that we keep in their tank that we um, put in there for them. And we miss them twice a week, and we soak them on occasion. Um, if you notice, they're so they have salt deposits that come out of their nose here. So um, we're probably going to have to give them another misting and soaking. Um, yeah, so that's an update on my horn toads. I'm really excited about them, and I've been keeping a log on how much they eat and you know what I've been feeding them, so that way you know I can keep track on them, and make sure they're doing okay, and. Sometimes, when you, if you ever have a horned toad or you want to get one, and you think they have a nice full belly, sometimes when you pick them up, they fill themselves with air to make themselves look bigger, or they'll flatten themselves out, which is exactly what my female is doing. I mean, she does have a big fat belly, but she's also puffing it right up with air uh, to make herself look big and bad. Um... But yep, yeah, so that's a little bit of my horn toes. I'm excited, and I just want to update everyone. So thank you for watching my video. You know, if there's anything else that you want to know about our animals or what we've been reading or anything, just let us know. Thanks.